the road. Hi, we can read this one. <gasps> Hi. Hi. We're back. I'm Miss Goodwin. I'm Miss Goodwin. And we have another Miss story for you. What do we have this time? Um, Madeleine. Madeline. Can you say Madeline? Madeline. This is one of Miss Goodwin's favorite books. We love this book. Henley likes this book too. Did you know, Henley, that I had a student give me this book as a gift? Did you know that? Actually, it's for you. It says to Henley from Tanner. Thank you, Tanner. And this story is by Ludwig Bemelmans. Ludwig Bemelmans. It's kind of a hard one to say. All right, Madeline, here we go. Drum roll, please. No drum roll? Okay. In an old house in Paris that was covered in vines, lived 12 little girls in two straight lines. In two straight lines, they broke their bread and brushed their teeth and went to bed. They smiled at the good and frowned at the bad. Don't you steal that purse. Don't steal that purse. <laughs> and sometimes they were very sad. They left the house at half past nine in two straight lines. In rain or shine. Henley, would you rather go play out in the rain or in the sunshine? In the sunshine. You like the sunshine? Me too. Is it sunny today? Yeah. The smallest one was Madeline. She was not afraid of mice. Are you afraid of mice? I'm afraid of daddy mice. Daddy mice. She loved winter, snow, and ice. To the tiger in the zoo, Madeline just said, Poo, poo. Poo, poo. Poo, poo? No. I, you, Madeline said that. I said that. Poo poo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody knew so well how to frighten Miss Clavel. In the middle of one night, Miss Clavel turned on her light and said, Something is not right. Little Madeline sat in bed, cried and cried. Her eyes were red. And soon after, Dr. Cohn came, he rushed out to the phone. He dialed Tam Tom 10 6. Nurse, he said, it's an appendix. Everybody had to cry, not a single eye was dry. Madeline was in his arm in a blanket, safe and warm. They had to call the ambulance because her appendix burst. In a car with a red light, they drove out into the night. Madeline woke up two hours later in a room with flowers. Where I can see them? Right here. Oh, I like it. You like them? Mm. Yeah, they're so pretty. Mm. Madeline soon ate and drank, and on her bed there was a crank. What's the crank for? What's that crank for, you think? And a crack on the ceiling had the habit of sometimes looking like a rabbit. Do you see the rabbit? Can you point to it? Look, this, does it look like a rabbit? Outside were birds, trees, and sky, and so 10 days passed quickly by. One nice morning, Miss Clavel said, isn't this a fine day to visit Madeline? Visitors from two to four read a sign outside the door, tiptoeing with solemn face, with some flowers and a vase. In they walked and then said, ah, oh, when they saw the toys and candy and the dollhouse from Papa. But the biggest surprise by far on her stomach was a scar. I see. <gasps> Is it a scarf? Not a scarf, but a scar. Sometimes when you get an owie, it can leave a mark. Oh, we got out on your finger. You can't see it very well. Yeah, that's okay. It's really little, not really big. I'm gonna need a score for my owie. Yeah, okay. 
Goodbye, they said, we'll come again. And the little girls left in the rain. They went home and broke their bread, brushed their teeth, and went to bed. Did you brush your teeth? How do you do it? Brush, grab, brush, grab, brush, brush, brush. Get up, bubbles. In the middle of the night, Miss Clavel turned on the light and said, something is not right. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel ran fast and faster. Ooh, man, she's running fast. Can you run fast? Okay. Let's see it. Okay, Miss Clavel, show us how fast you run. Okay. Ready, go. Ooh. Run, Forrest, run. That was fast. She said, please children do tell me what is frightening you. And all the little girls cried, boo hoo. <laughs> we want to have our appendix out too. Good night little girls. Thank the Lord you are well and now go to sleep, said Miss Clavel. And she turned out the light and closed the door. And that's all that there is. There isn't any more. The uh, end. Okay, Henley Review. Did you like this book? Mm, yes. You did? What was your favorite part? I, I like the running. The running part when Miss Clavel has to run fast and faster. I always really liked this book, especially growing up because I connected with the character. Madeline was a small girl with red hair and when I was little I used to be short with red hair so I felt like Madeline and it helped me to be brave and confident. It's always nice to have stories where you feel like you can connect with the main character. I want you, I want you to be gone, Mommy. You want me to be gone? Why? I guess I want to look for you. You want me to be gone? Why? I guess I want you to be gone. Where is she? Hi, Cap. Okay, I'll go. You're too good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, mommy. Peace. Poos. Poos. <laughs>